Hi everyone, today I'm going to be covering clarinet basics, including the parts of the instrument, putting the instrument together, cleaning out the instrument, taking the instrument apart, and storing the instrument. The clarinet has five parts, as you can see here. The first part is the mouthpiece, the second part is the barrel, the third part is the upper joint, the fourth part is the lower joint, and the fifth part is the bell. Put the clarinet together, first you take the mouthpiece and apply some cork grease onto it. In order to apply cork grease, you just turn the mouthpiece as you hold the grease up to the cork. And this is to ensure that the cork does not get damaged and goes into the rest of the clarinet smoothly. And most clarinet parts do have corks, so it is important to apply cork grease most of the times before you play. You don't have to apply every single time, but it is helpful. So now just lightly turn and push the mouthpiece into the top of the barrel like this. It does not actually matter which direction the logo is facing onto the barrel because the barrel is actually all shaped the same. Next, take the upper joint, apply cork grease to this as well, and gently turn the barrel onto the upper joint of the clarinet. This time, the logo on the mouthpiece should line up with the logo on the upper joint. And another way to look at it is the back of the clarinet where the reed goes should line up with the this key right here. Now you'll want to attach the lower joint to the upper joint. This part can be slightly tricky, however, because the upper joint has some side keys right here that could potentially hit the hand rest on the lower joint. So when you put the upper joint into the lower joint, you want to be careful and only turn it slightly. And also be careful not to push it in because this can damage these keys and they are fragile. So you want to make sure that this part of the clarinet lines up with each other. Finally, you take the bell and you put it onto the bottom joint. Now that you have the instrument together, there are actually some accessories that are important for the instrument as well. So in order to play the clarinet, you need a reed as well as a ligature. First, place the reed up to this end of the clarinet like this. And so this part of the reed should be facing outwards. And then take your ligature and put it onto the clarinet like this and make sure the top of the reed lines up with the top of the mouthpiece. Make sure it's not too high or too low. Make sure the ligature is evenly spaced and then you can tighten it like this. There are many different types of ligatures. Some of them face this way and others of them look like this. If you're starting out playing clarinet, you'll most likely get a ligature that looks like this. After you finish practicing or playing your clarinet, it is important to properly clean out and take it apart so that bacteria does not build up inside. First, take your clarinet and turn it upside down so that the bell is facing upwards. Next, take your clarinet cleaning cloth. This should come with the clarinet and it should have a cloth, a cord, as well as a weighted end. Put the weighted end into the bell of the clarinet and make sure it comes out the other end and gently pull it through. Do not tug it through extremely hard because if you do, you could actually damage the insides of the clarinet. Now that you've pulled the cleaning cloth through, you can clean the keys of the clarinet as well. So clarinets normally come with a clarinet polishing cloth and you can polish all of the keys as well as the wood on the clarinet. You can also get clarinet paper in order to clean out your keys. It normally looks like this. You, this is not necessary, but sometimes the keys can clog up. So you'll fold the paper like this and slide it into the clarinet key like this and then pull it out. And this should absorb any of the water inside the clarinet. In order to take your instrument apart, you'll want to disassemble it in the same order that you assembled it. So first, take the bell gently off of the instrument and place it into the correct position into the case. Now, take the bottom joint gently off the instrument and remember not to let this part of the bottom joint hit these keys as you're taking it apart. And now you put it into its correct location and make sure it is facing in the correct direction.
Then take off the upper joint, the barrel, and the mouthpiece and put them into their proper locations. Often mouthpieces will have a mouthpiece cap and a ligature, so you want to store that inside your case as well. Thank you so much for listening to my lesson. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please email csa.positivenotes at gmail.com.